Greetings. Welcome to another Faulkner Fixes All. Uh, apparently some viewers reached out and they said that I looked like I was grumpy and tired working on old trucks. And yeah, old trucks and old cars are hard to work on. And you're in a very uh, awkward position with heavy, greasy items. And uh, bikes are fun. So we're going to do a fun video because we want people to be happy out there in YouTube land. Okay, so today we're going to take this stem out, we're going to take these forks out, and we're going to repack this headset. It's feeling a little bit dry and crunchy. I got this bike on eBay, just the frame, fork, and fenders. And you know, when you buy parts on eBay, they don't come like brand new and stuff. <laughs> okay, so, but there is something we're going to do that I like to do on these bikes. And since this one's going to be mine, and I'm not going to really resell it. We're going to change the headset out to a better headset, and I'll explain why when we get to that point. But uh, let's get rolling, and welcome to Faulkner Fixes All, and here we go. Alright, we're going to take this out. Loosen the stem bolt. And... drop the wrench. We're going to tap this stem bolt with a bronze or brass hammer. There we go. Remember, don't drop the wrench. We'll put this somewhere safe, like on the ground. Okay, I already kind of loosened that up earlier. You know, I want to keep these, keep these videos short and sweet. Okay, we got that top top one in there. Let's make sure you can see what's going on. Yeah, you can kind of see. Maybe we'll get you in a little closer. Yeah, okay. We'll take this little washer off. Oh, yeah, this washer doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, we're going to have to spin this washer a little bit. Yep. That's not good. Hang on a sec. Sometimes the washer in between here, the little, there's a little square part that catches the fork. There we go. And after years of people dealing with it, it catches on the threads a little bit. So that's the washer with that tiny little square part there. Uh, yeah, you can see it. That catches the slot in the fork and sometimes that spins against the threads and you can't get it off. But don't worry, just keep working at it and try to get that off in one piece. Alright, so we're going to take this off. Actually, I think I did repack these on, on a previous video, but we're still going to change this top race because I don't like these. Yeah, I think I did actually repack these and clean them. Okay, we're going to put this to the side and I'll show you what we're going to do. Whoop! Still looking for that camera assistant. <laughs> camera assistant for almost accurate bike videos. Okay, so here's the deal. This is the style that's in there right now. And it's fine. There's no problem with that. But Schwinn later went to this style. And this style the bearing sits up in the holder and dirt doesn't get in there because there's that lip 
and then it's always protected and rain and dirt and stuff like that doesn't get in there and they didn't do this for well they did do it to protect the bearing but the original thing was on a 10 speed model with the shifter you couldn't get in there to adjust the cone maybe a little bit if you were using center pull brakes there's a center pull thing you could get in there a little bit to adjust that and you know the the nut sits on top of here so you couldn't get your hand in there to adjust that especially if you weren't running center pulls there's no way to get your hand in there so what they did was they went to this style and that allowed you to get your hand in there and adjust the adjuster for the fork bearings and they didn't really think about I guess they probably were thinking about dirt too but they did save on a little space also um, they saved on about an eighth inch of space there's the cruiser style or the upright bar style and here is the suburban 10 speed varsity continental you know there's an eighth inch there there's a little bit of weight difference and with that savings they didn't move where these threads were either there were so they could use the same fork um, basically it was so you could adjust the races and get your hand under this shifter okay so now why am I putting it on a bike without a shifter because I like this style it keeps the dirt out the rain hits this and peels off the bike would almost have to be upside down for dirt to get in there okay so that's why I'm changing it and it's my bike I can do what I want right <laughs> all the Schwinn purists out there oh it's the wrong top race holder oh god okay so we're gonna pop this one out and we're gonna put the suburban continental style in so yeah I think I already have repacked these in a previous video but so we don't have to use a brass bronze hammer on this one we can use a, a regular hammer should be popping out soon it's close there we go didn't even drop it on the floor okay so we'll pound this other one in the one I want to use yeah this is a different style and we won't have to worry about that piece of chrome gone right here because <laughs> this doesn't have any chrome so we'll just make sure this is clean hammer the reason I pop my hand up is it absorbs some of the blow and you're not jiggling the whole frame around on the stand okay so we know there's some grease in there because I already put some in there on a previous video but we'll just dab a little in there anyway right we're like that okay looks good where did I put that fork okay so on this one we're gonna put the grease in the holder not because this is not a cup it's more or less they reversed it so we'll put the grease in this part And we'll put the bearing in this part and have it ready. That way we look like we know what we're doing when we put the fork in. At least give people the illusion that I look what I know what I'm doing. You know, we'll get the bearing ready. Now on these bearings, they only go in one way. If you if you put it in the wrong way, you'll know right away. It won't act right. So that's ready to go. All right, let's get that fork. Okay. 
Okay, coming up, coming on up. All right. Now, I didn't put any grease on the threads of the fork because there's plenty on there already. We know there is. Now these top races are found on Continentals, Varsities, Suburbans, anything that had 5 to 10 gears. Although I have seen them on later earlier bikes in the 60s that only had coaster brakes and 3 speeds, but they seem pretty rare on those kind of bikes. Mo mainly Travelers, Continentals, Suburbans, stuff with gears. I have seen them on regular bikes from Schwinn. Maybe they ran out of stuff at the factory that day. I don't know. All right, so we got that in. It looks good. Here's the little washer with the tiny little peg that goes right there. There's a little slot. Okay. Uh, this bolt looks a little dry. We'll put some grease in that. And see, no difference on the fork height for the threads. It's fine. Uh, in fact, it's you know within an eighth inch difference of that whole assembly is only an eighth inch, a smaller eighth, probably less than an eighth inch taller than this assembly. And there's plenty of room on the fork um, to cinch that down. So it is an interchangeable part. You don't have to find different forks. In most cases it is interchangeable. So to adjust this you kind of crank it in tight then back it off a tiny bit. It helps if you have the stem in also. We're going to do that real quick. Because then you can hold it. Oh, I dropped the wrench. That's right. Where'd that wrench go? Oh. Yeah, remember not to drop your wrenches. <laughs> okay. This doesn't have to be perfect straight right now. We're just going to use it to hold the fork from turning while we tighten the top bolt that cinches against the bearing race. We're just going to do that. Okay, this feels pretty good. Tighten it up a little and see how it feels. Uh, it's a little bit tight, so we're going to back it off. Spin this off just a little and tighten this top bolt. Now, when you're tightening this, if that washer's damaged, it'll spin that other piece too. So if that little slotted washer isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, you'll see this part spin. You shouldn't have to hold it with anything. You should be able to just crank it down like this. And there it is. Feels great. Wipe off some of this extra goo and get you in here for a close-up. So, we have switched from this style, which lets dirt in, to this incorrect 10-speed style, which doesn't let dirt in, because the water and dirt just flip off of that. Is it correct? No. Is it how I want the bike? Yes. So get happy. <laughs> Okay, another edition of Faulkner Fixes All. More bike stuff coming. More happy, save the world bike stuff coming. And uh, we will have to work on some trucks soon. And I'll try not to be huffing and puffing and grumpy and stuff. Okay, have a good day.